Okay, guys, last video. So here's just all of the things we've drawn so far blown out with the eyes turned back off so we can see what all we've drawn. Now there are some little areas where it kind of mismatches, but we can come back and fix that later. But we are on our way to having a completed rocket ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to do these top fins and the bottom fins. And to do that, we're going to use the pin tool. Now don't let me scare you. The pin tool in Flash is so much easier than Photoshop because, again, we can push-pull those lines and we can just grab things and move them around until they're in the correct spot for us. So don't let me say the pin tool and just immediately turn you off. So I'm going to come back in here and hide all this stuff. Get my sketch back. And we're going to be in the top fin layer. So find that top fins layer. And let's unlock it. Top fin. Again, it has to be that yellow color for it to work. So I'm going to zoom in on my top fin here. Oops, a little too much. Here we go. And this is where we're going to start. The pin tool is at the very... Uh, I don't want to say the top, but about a quarter of the way down below the text tool. And same as before, our properties panel works for whatever tool you select. So I'm going to make sure I'm red again, and I'm going to go ahead and up my stroke weight back to 5, where we had all of our other stroke weights set to. <clears throat> now this is going to be really awesome for you guys, because you're going to really be able to see my screen you're going to see how I navigate and work with the arms to create this big fin right here. Because I know on the projector you can't really see what I'm doing. So this is going to be perfect. So what you do when you use the pin tool or the line tool, any of these tools when it comes to making an arc, you look for the shapes that you can draw. And this big, long, smooth arc right here, I know I'm going to have to start at the very beginning of it work my way all the way to the end. I'm not going to break it up into multiple arcs or end up looking like a big wave. And then I'll come back around to right here and then I'll come back to finish my shape. So when I'm done I'm going to click one, two, three, four times. So watch me do it and then you can pause this video, go back and try it on your own or rewind a little bit and watch it again. But take a peek on what I'm doing before you jump into it. So I'm going to click and I'm going to pull just like in Photoshop, what's going to happen is these arms are going to appear. The wider I pull, the more crazy and extreme my line is going to be. The less I pull, the less outrageous it's going to be. So I, there's really no direction for me to tell you, but I do like to go straight up initially. And I'm not going to go very much because I don't want my line to be all psycho on me. I'm just going to let go. So we haven't created any lines yet. We've just set our first anchor point. So don't be alarmed when you don't see a red line. So now I'm going to come to the end of my line I want to create right out here on the tip. And I'm going to click and I'm going to pull. And that's when my pin tool starts to show. Now right now it just kind of has a bare outline, but it will show up red when you let go. And I'm just going to pull. I'm going to keep messing with the direction of my arms. I'm still holding my mouse down until I get pretty close to what I want. Now it's not going to be exact. That's fine. I'm going to let go. Looks pretty good. There's a little spot right here where it bubbles up, but I can come back and fix that when I'm done. I would like for you to do the whole shape before you go back and start editing your curves. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click right here. This will be my next curve. Now, ooh, look how crazy it is. That is okay. Again, we can fix it. The only thing I want you to avoid is letting it crisscross. Let's see if I can get it to crisscross like that. Because it's, see how it broke our line up? Now thinks that this is connected right there. Don't let that happen. So curve and just make sure we're not going to overlap anywhere. Just like that. Okay, we're going to finish our shape. So I'm going to come back to where I started. And if you look on my cursor, there's a little circle that appears when I get back to where I began. And I can just click once. I don't have to click and pull. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to get my black arrow. 
And this area down here, we're actually not going to see. But we also don't want to try to recreate this curve right here. I want you to go ahead and just let it be big and hang down here. When we're done, we're going to reorder all of our layers, and this is going to be hidden. We're only going to see this top portion. This bottom portion is going to be hidden by the body of our aircraft. So this is just keeping us from having to create this same curve perfectly. You can't do that without painstakingly nitpicking it, and we don't want to do that. It just kills time. We can just hide this back here. So if you need to adjust this so it is behind where your body of your spaceship will be, go ahead and do that with the black arrow. Now the other tool we're going to use is the white arrow, the sub selection tool. If I double click on my lines, you'll see my anchor points are now showing up in white. So there's my first anchor point. There's my second one. There's my third one. And then it kind of creates some silly ones in here where my weird curve is. But I don't care about those because I'm not fixing them. What I need to fix is right here on this kind of shark fin area. So if I double click on my anchor point, my lines, or my arms, excuse me, shoot out. And then just like in Flash, I can come in here and I can manipulate these arms. And calm them down until I get the shape that I want. Now you have to work your way between both points that create that arc. So I have to come down here a little bit. Suck it in just a little more. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Mine isn't perfect, but it looks pretty good. Also got a little area right here I wanted to kind of bring in. If I can get my mouse to click on the right spot. There we go. And then this arm up here I want to kind of calm down a little bit. Lovely. I like that. That looks nice. So that's the pin tool and flash. You can always go back in, fix your stuff with the sub selection tool, the white arrow, or push pull it with the black arrow. But when you get these big crazy curves, you really need to use that white arrow in the arms. Be a great time to double check to make sure our color is filled. Yep, it works. We have no holes. Delete that. And this is in the top fins layer. There's only one more fin in the top fins layer, and that is this one right here. I'd like for you to do that with the pin tool as well. So here I go. I'm going to start right here. I'll click and pull straight up. I'm not going to pull really far. I'm just going to pull a little bit. That's my first anchor point. I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to pull. Awesome. And when I come back in there, I'm going to come into like the middle of my exhaust vent. Because again, this is all going to be hidden. If I try to recreate this edge, that's just going to be a huge pain in the butt. It's not perfect, but that's okay as long as it's not crisscrossing. And I'll finish my shape. And then back again with my white arrow. Double click, wake those arms up. Start working on squeezing it in. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. I think that looks pretty good. Not perfect right there, but I still like the shape of it. It's very sharp and flowing. It looks like a fin could possibly look like. Any holes? Nope. Good to go. So at this point, let's save. Save, 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 save. And we are going to lock top fins. Please, please, please lock top fins. These bottom fins are on the bottom portion of our spacecraft. So they are not going to be in the top fins layer. So we are moving to bottom fin and unlocking it. Not top fin. Make sure that is locked. Make sure you're not in it. We're going to do bottom fins. Now this little guy right here. It's got some more complex curves to it. It kind of curves in and dips back out right here. And then it does a little S shape right there. So we're going to have to click and add some more anchor points to get this one done. 
my pen tool. I'm going to start right here on the edge of my exhaust vent. And I never pull big because it just makes your lines even crazier. Just a little pull is all you need. And I'm going to come back to the tip right here. And it's not perfect, but we can come back and fix it. So now looking at this, it dips in, and it comes back up and dips back down. So to create this curve right here, I would need to have an anchor point right here to finish it. I'm going to click and pull. And it's not perfect, but I can fix it. Then to do this dip into here, I will finish right at the very edge of my spacecraft. And that is beyond perfect, but we can fix it. And I'll finish my shape. And again, we're letting it expand back into our body. So with my shape done, I can come back with my white arrow. And I can get to work on making this look a little better. Always work in between those two anchor points, the ends of my curves. If you hold down Alt, it will lock the other anchor point on the other side so it doesn't break or ruin what you've already made, which helps a lot. Put that dip in a little bit. I'd like for that to curve a little more. I'm just going to grab my black arrow. Just push that guy in just a hair. Yeah, that looks a little better. Curve it just a hair more. Yeah. Make sure it has no holes. Perfect. Okay, now, still in the bottom fins layer, we need to do these last two fins. Now I'm going to be nice and I'm going to let you use the line tool for these two because they're just pretty simple triangles in a sense. Just use the line tool for these. Your magnet still should be turned on. Going point to point. Should snap. And with my move tool I can come back in and of course curve these so they match the idea of all of our other fins. Now remember, blow these guys out. We're not going to see this portion, but it's going to help us down the road. Hey, voila, looky there. There are all of our fins with the pin tool, except for two of them. Oop, make sure they fill. I forgot. Perfect. If I unhide everything, there is all of our outlines. When we do the windows, we'll use the paintbrush to do that, and we'll do it a little differently. And we'll paint in the shadows as well. But when I come back and have you guys next week, we will do the windows, we'll do the shadows, and we'll start coloring this thing with the gradient tool, which will make it look really cool. Then we'll do some fun stuff in the background. And I'm also thinking about doing some videos for those. So if you liked the pace of following me at on your own and not having to wait on anybody then you're in for a treat because I would like to do this some more. Also keeps me from having to say the same thing 10,000 times which helps my voice. So guys be sure and safe. I always like to lock everything too before I leave just so when I come back I don't accidentally get into something I don't want to. And that is all for today. Have a great day guys and I will see you when I come back.